What is it about this marriage that's so special that you would fight this hard to, to save it? Well, it's my soulmate. It's the person I love, you know. And you and you, you can be in love with someone. You can love someone and you're not... And if you haven't experienced love and you don't understand it and you don't have the tools to move forward, then you're going to have complications, period. And if you, you can either address it or you can pretend until it blows up at some point. And, you know, for us, we chose to for, fight for our love, for our family, to give our kids a different outcome. You see, see, uh, you know, to break that, that cycle. Get ready to dive into the latest Hollywood drama because Queen Bey is making headlines yet again. In the wake of some shocking leaked footage, Jay-Z is sounding the alarm bells, issuing a serious warning to none other than Beyonce herself. Hold on to your seats, folks, because we're about to uncover the truth behind the scenes of this star-studded saga. All right, so here's the scoop you've probably caught wind of already, right? Jay-Z and Beyonce? Yeah, they're not exactly joined at the hip these days. Rumor has it they've been doing their own thing for a hot minute now. Sure, they might flash those smiles and put on a united front every now and then, but truth is, they're living separate lives. So, what's the deal? Well, seems like Jay-Z's got some skeletons lurking in his closet, and they're about to make an appearance. Folks are whispering that his shady past might just be the reason these two are drifting apart. And let me tell you, it's got tongues wagging. Sure, they might pose for the paparazzi, but when those doors close, it's a whole different ball game. Apparently, there's some serious drama brewing, and the D word, yep, divorce, is floating around. Beyonce's camp is reportedly ready to pull the plug, while Jay-Z's crew is swearing he's had enough. Looks like they're both playing the blame game. Honestly, it's not exactly rocket science to see why these rumors are flying. Just take a look at them. Beyonce's vibe seems like she's mentally checked out, you know? It's like they're more like pals than a power couple. And you wanna know what's really adding fuel to the fire? Jay-Z's little Grammy spiel. He's out there like, hey, why's this lady got a ton of Grammys but never snags album of the year? Talk about dropping hints like confetti. It's leaving folks scratching their heads, trying to figure out what's the real deal. Pretty weird, huh? That look on Beyonce's face? Yeah, it was like a neon sign flashing awkward. Rumor has it she was just itching to make a run for it. And get this, if you rewind the tapes from that awards bash, you'll catch the Carters making a swift exit right after Jay-Z's speech. Seems like Beyonce wasn't exactly vibing with the whole scene, if you know what I mean. Hate to break it to you, but there's some serious talk going around town about their marriage hitting some major bumps lately. So here's the tea. Folks are saying Jay-Z and Beyonce have been doing the whole separate living thing for a while now. And let's rewind a bit to 2014, shall we? Remember that wild Met Gala night? Oh yeah, there's this crazy footage of Beyonce's sis Solange throwing fists at Jay in an elevator after an after party. Rumors were flying left and right about Jay's wandering eye being the root cause. Back then, the family tried to do some damage control, put out a statement and all that jazz. Sure, there was a lot of gossip swirling around about what really went down, but here's the bottom line. They patched things up. Jay and Solange owned up to their parts in the mess and made it clear they were moving past the drama. Let us lay it out for you straight. What you see on the surface ain't always what's really going on. Sure, everything looked all hunky-dory from the outside, but behind closed doors, total chaos. Beyonce's own cousin spilled the beans, saying back in 2016, she was seriously considering pulling the plug. And then came Lemonade, basically her breakup album, laying it all bare. But somehow, Bay and Jay managed to patch things up. She'd throw him a bone with a shout out here and there. But turns out, it wasn't all rainbows and butterflies, even after popping out those twins shortly after. Guess they fell into the classic trap of thinking babies could magically fix a broken marriage. Am I right? All right, let's dive into the world of Lemonade. Beyonce's raw and real journey through heartbreak, betrayal, and ultimately, redemption. Buckle up, cause we're about to take a deep dive into Queen Bey's emotional roller coaster. Now, Lemonade ain't your typical album. It's Beyonce laying it all out there for the world to see. It's her way of coping with the bombshell that her hubby, Jay-Z, was messing around. Across 12 tracks, she takes us on a whirlwind of emotions, from denial and fury to emptiness and forgiveness. And let me tell you, she does it with flair. Take Pray You Catch Me, for instance. It's like we're inside Beyonce's head as she starts to connect the dots. Then there's Hold Up and Don't Hurt Yourself, pure rage set to music. Beyonce's voice is like a storm, unleashing fury like nobody's business. But it's not all doom and gloom. In Six Inch Heels and Daddy Lessons, Beyonce shows off her musical chops, flaunting her strength and roots. And as the album unfolds, we start to glimpse a ray of hope peeking through the darkness. Sandcastles hits you right in the gut. It's the heart of the album, where Beyonce faces the pain head on. And let me tell you, she lays it all bare. It's raw, it's emotional, and it's utterly mesmerizing. But Lemonade, 
isn't just about Beyonce's personal struggles. It's a celebration of black culture and empowerment. From the music to the visuals, Beyonce refuses to hold back or apologize for who she is. And let me tell you, it's powerful stuff. Now let's talk about Formation, the anthem of strength and resilience. Beyonce isn't just singing for herself. She's singing for all of us who faced adversity and come out on top. And as Lemonade comes to a close with All Night, we're left with a sense of hope and reconciliation. It's a reminder that true love can overcome even the deepest wounds. So yeah, Lemonade isn't just an album, it's a masterpiece. Beyonce's poured her heart and soul into every note, and it shines through. It's the kind of music that speaks to your soul and leaves you feeling empowered and uplifted. And that, my friends, is what makes it truly special. Now, onto the spicy stuff. Diddy's been hogging the headlines, but word on the street is, he's not planning on taking all the heat alone. Rumor has it, he started singing like a canary, and guess who might be next in the firing line? You got it, Jay-Z. These two used to be tight, but ever since Diddy got exposed, things have been looking pretty shaky for Jay. Now here's the kicker. Jay-Z's no newbie to the game, which means a lot of his shady dealings ain't plastered all over social media. That's how he's kept things under wraps for so long. But mark my words, people have been talking. And who's most likely to spill the beans on Jay? None other than his own wife, Beyonce. All right, let's dish about the ultimate power couple of our time, Beyonce and Jay-Z. These two have been rocking the world for more than two decades, leaving a serious mark wherever they go. First off, let's talk kids. They've got three adorable munchkins, Blue Ivy, who stole the spotlight in 2012, and the twins Rumi and Sir, who joined the fam in 2017. Talk about a full house. Now, when it comes to their relationship, they keep things solid. They don't spill all the juicy details, but we catch glimpses of their love story through their music and glamorous adventures. Here's a quick rundown of their epic journey together. Back in 2000, Beyonce spilled the tea to 17 Mag that she met Jay-Z when she was just 18. But it wasn't until she turned 19 that they officially started dating. And here's the kicker. Jay's a cool 12 years older than his queen. Fast forward to November 2001, they graced the cover of Vanity Fair's music issue. Jay-Z was smooth talking about how they were just dipping their toes into the dating pool. Gotta hand it to him, he had to bring his A-game to impress Bay. She's not easily won over. Then in October 2002, they dropped the collab of the century, 03 Bonnie and Clyde. Beyonce's killer vocals mixed with Jay's smooth flow made it an instant hit. And let's not forget that steamy music video they filmed together in Mexico. Then, Beyonce completely flipped the script in May 2003 with her banger Crazy in Love, featuring Jay-Z. Grammys? Oh yeah, they scooped up a couple for that one. And even though they kept their relationship low-key, fans were already shipping them hard. And then came August 2004, the MTV VMAs. Beyonce and Jay-Z stepped out on the red carpet together, making it official in front of the world. Talk about a power move. Oh, and they both walked away with awards that night. Double win. So we're in 2006, and Beyonce drops her bombshell bidet album. And who's right there by her side? None other than Jay-Z himself, featuring on tracks like Deja Vu and Upgrade You. Talk about a power couple in action. Fast forward to November 2006, Jay-Z's in the spotlight with his Kingdom Come album, featuring a little something from Beyonce on Hollywood. It looked like these two couldn't get enough of each other's talent, but hold on to your hats. April 4th, 2008 marks a major milestone. Beyonce and Jay-Z tie the knot in a super hush-hush ceremony, like seriously secretive. They decked out Jay-Z's swanky Manhattan pad with 70,000 orchids from Thailand. Talk about Lux. Speaking of the big day, Beyonce spilled the beans about her rule of not getting hitched before 25. She's all about knowing yourself before sharing your life with someone else. Wise words, Queen Bey. Now Jay-Z's not one to spill all the deets. In August 2008, he finally spills the beans about their matching tattoos. Ivoy, representing their birthdays and wedding date. Gotta admit, that's pretty darn cute. Fast forward to January 2009 and the power couple's rubbing elbows with the big shots at President Obama's inauguration. Beyonce even serenades the newly sworn in president with America the Beautiful and At Last for his first dance. That was something special. Beyonce wasn't done with impressing us just yet. She had a few more tricks up her sleeve. August 2011 rolls around and they drop the baby bombshell at the MTV VMAs. Beyonce rocks the stage with her baby bump on full display and the crowd goes wild. Kanye West immediately congratulates Jay-Z, and it's a historical moment. But hold on to your hats, cause 2013 is just getting started. Beyonce belts out the Star Spangled Banner at President Obama's second inauguration, proving once again that she's the ultimate powerhouse. Then comes February 2013, and Beyonce drops her bombshell documentary, 
giving fans a behind-the-scenes look at her life, including those early days of pregnancy. Talk about pulling back the curtain, but wait, there's more. July 2013 sees the release of Jay-Z's Magna Carta Holy Grail album, featuring a killer collab with Beyonce on part two, On The Run. These two just can't stay out of the studio together. And just when you thought they couldn't top themselves, December 2013 rolls around and Beyonce drops her iconic self-titled album. But here's the kicker. It's not just an album, it's a full-on visual masterpiece with videos for every single song. And let's not forget the banger Drunk In Love, featuring none other than Jay-Z himself. In a November 29, 2017 interview with the New York Times Style magazine, Jay-Z came clean about his infidelity and opened up about how he and Beyonce patched things up with a little help from her music. So, here's the real deal. Jay-Z laid it all out there, admitting to the struggles of facing the pain he caused and the tough road of self-reflection. Yep, he even spilled about hitting up therapy to work through their stuff. Talk about keeping it real. And here's the kicker, both Lemonade and 444, they're not just albums, they're like their own version of couples therapy. Jay-Z owned up to feeling like he was diving into the deep end of discomfort when listening to those tracks. But hey, sometimes you gotta face the music to move forward, right? Ooh, what a ride from the depths of marital drama to the heights of industry praise. From the highs of a decades-long love story filled with music, love, and overcoming hurdles to the whispers swirling around after Jay-Z's Grammy speech, where it seemed like tensions were bubbling beneath the surface. You can't help but wonder if there are cracks showing in their seemingly rock-solid bond. Beyonce's silent reaction says it all, hinting at something deeper brewing behind their united front. As fans cross their fingers, hoping their love can weather the storm, the fate of music's ultimate power couple hangs in the balance, showing us the ups and downs of love in the spotlight. All right, listen up, cause the gossip mill's churning out some serious tea. One once those divorce papers hit the scene, she's apparently gonna spill all the juicy deets. But let's hit rewind and dig into their relationship timeline. It's been shady from the jump. Beyonce's been saying they started their love story when she was 18. But some folks swear Jay-Z swooped in when she was even younger, like Foxy Brown Young. Yeah, there's chatter that Jay hooked up with Foxy when she was just a teen, on his dime, splurging on her high school shopping sprees and fancy salon trips. Jay-Z's the king of keeping things hush-hush. But when it came to Beyonce, he went ahead and put a ring on it. Pun intended. I'm just, this is always what I wanted to do. So I always asked for this. I prayed for this. So now that I have it, it's like, this is my job. This is like my nine to five. And it's fun. Yeah. It's fun. I'm young. I'm energetic. So it's cool. But with Foxy, there's whispers he's still greasing the wheels to keep their past on lockdown. No wonder when Foxy got asked about their connection, she played it cool and dodged the questions. But hey, she's not having any of it. She's ready to throw down and take legal action against anyone spreading those rumors. And then there's Rymir. Poor guy's been trying to get Jay-Z to own up to being his dad for almost a decade now. You see, Rymir Satterthwaite's been making waves lately, claiming Jay-Z's his pops, and he's not backing down. He's taken the whole shebang to the Supreme Court, gunning to get some official recognition. Dude's pushing to unseal court docs, ready to throw down and prove his case against Jay-Z once and for all. This ain't gonna end till I get what's right, Satterthwaite told the Daily Mail. He's all about living his truth and hoping Jay-Z will come around eventually, if fate's on his side, that is. He's been making noise for a hot minute now, saying he's Jay-Z's kid from back in the day before Jay hit the big time. But Jay's been singing a different tune, denying he's Rymir's dad and lawyering up for the showdown. Back in 2011, Rymir's mom tried to get Jay-Z to own up, filing a lawsuit in Jersey for child support and paternity. But it got tossed out because of some legal technicality and never got a second shot. Jay's legal squad's playing hardball, though. They're sticking to their story, saying this whole thing's been hashed out already, and Rymir's barking up the wrong tree. I'm betting the outcome won't change, no matter what Rymir's got up his sleeve, they said. But Rymir, he's not throwing in the towel just yet. He's ready to take on Goliath, armed with nothing but the truth and a whole lot of determination. Guess we'll just have to wait and see how this epic showdown unfolds. However, Jay's been pulling some shady moves, allegedly using his clout to dodge taking a paternity test. Rymir's mom, Wanda, swears up and down they hooked up back in 92, but Jay's been giving her the runaround ever since. Even when she tried to sue for child support, the whole thing got tossed out on a technicality. But Rymir's not backing down, he's calling foul play, accusing Jay and his legal team of pulling strings to avoid the truth. So, Rymir's got this hunch that there's some sketchy business going on behind the scenes with this whole court showdown. He's thinking maybe someone's pulling strings in the background, you know, for their own benefit. And let's address the big question here. Why would Jay-Z keep quiet about a kid he allegedly had back in the day when he was just starting out? I mean, he wasn't exactly topping the charts back then, so what's with the secrecy? Well. 
Here's the scoop. Rumor has it, when Jay-Z and Wanda hooked up, he was in his 20s, and she was barely legal. You do the math. It's not a great look for Jay-Z, right? And that's probably why he's avoiding that DNA test, like it's the plague. Wanda's godmother spilled the beans, saying they had some chats with Jay-Z's lawyer, thinking they could sort things out quietly. But then more lawyers jumped in, smelling trouble. Suddenly it's game on, and Jay-Z's got more than just his reputation on the line. And let me tell you, this ain't the first time this kind of drama's been whispered about behind closed doors. Even before this mess blew up, there were rumors flying around for ages. And word on the street is, Beyonce might not be sticking around when things heat up. So what's your bet? You think Beyonce and Jay-Z are headed for Splitsville? Or is Jay just waiting it out till the dust settles? But Beyonce has been making some moves as she usually does, and her new album is on the way. Could it be that she's gonna spill some more tea, just like she did with Lemonade? So check it. Beyonce just unveiled the cover for her new album, Cowboy Carter, and it's got this cool country vibe going on. She switched gears to country after some drama at the Country Music Awards back in 2016, kinda like a clap back at the country music scene. But turns out, stirring the pot got her some unexpected attention from the critics. On the day of the album cover drop, Beyonce took a moment to thank her fans for their unwavering support for Texas Hold'em and 16 Carriages. She's stoked to make history as the first black woman to top the Hot Country Songs chart and hopes this opens doors for more diversity in music. The whole country album thing wasn't just a spur-of-the-moment decision for Beyonce. She's been cooking up this project for over five years, inspired by some tough times that made her feel out of place in the music scene. So, she did what any boss would do, hit the books, and dug deep into the roots of country music. Now, facing a bit of backlash for stepping into the country game just made Beyonce even more determined to show she's got what it takes. Her new album, Act 2, is all about pushing boundaries and blending different styles. She's teamed up with some unexpected collaborators and poured her heart and soul into every track. But let's talk about those album covers. Beyonce's rocking this patriotic cowboy look on one, giving major nods to cowboy culture. And on another, she's keeping it chill with a sash and some killer braids. Now things got spicy when Erica Badu threw some shade Beyonce's way, suggesting Bay's copying her style. Badu's been rocking similar braids lately, and even called out Beyonce before for supposedly jacking her vibe with big hats and metallic outfits. Who had something to say about it? Apparently she feels like Beyonce is copying her look because lately Erica has been wearing her hair this way. Badu stirred the pot on IG, hinting Beyonce is trying to steal her hairstyle game. But come on, let's get real. Those beaded braids are nothing new or unique to Badu. They've been a part of African culture for ages, and tons of artists have rocked them over the years. The Beehive wasn't having any of it, though. They came to Beyonce's defense big time. Badu tried dragging Jay-Z into it, but honestly, it feels like she's just fishing for drama. To Jay-Z, say something, Jay. You gonna let this woman and these bees do this to me? Beyonce's camp even stepped up, showing Bay's been rocking braids since forever. So, the message? Beyonce's not copying anyone, and it's time to move on. With Cowboy Carter, Beyonce's making a statement, especially after catching flack for her country performance at the CMAs. She's facing the backlash head on, aiming to open doors for black artists in the country scene. Beyonce is all about breaking barriers and changing the game, showing that country music has roots that run deep in the black community and deserve some recognition. So watch out country music world, Beyonce is coming for you and she's not holding back. And there you have it folks, the saga of Beyonce and Jay-Z's latest adventures in the music world. From Bay's bold move into country territory with Cowboy Carter to the whispers of drama lurking in the shadows. But hold on to your hats, because the plot thickens. Rumor has it, Jay-Z might be giving Beyonce a serious warning amidst all this chaos. With tension simmering beneath the surface, could their seemingly unbreakable bond be facing its toughest test yet? And let's not forget about Erica Badu, stirring the pot with her claims of Beyonce copying her style. Is there more to this than meets the eye? Could Badu be pulling the strings behind the scenes, adding fuel to the fire of this brewing drama? As the curtain falls on this chapter of the Beyonce and Jay-Z saga, one thing's for sure, the music world better brace itself for whatever these two powerhouses have in store next. Stay tuned, because with Beyonce and Jay-Z, the drama never sleeps.